So it's been a long time, obviously. It feels like a really long time since you signed. Uh, it, just, I wanted to touch on first, uh, what made you feel like this was the right time? And now that camp is here and the season is so close and it looks like you're going to get an NHL opportunity, what's going through your mind with all that? Yeah, um, obviously it's been a long time coming. Uh, honestly, I don't think I've played a game in, uh, since the first or second week of March. So um, it's all coming full circle, uh, coming around pretty quick. So um, just trying to keep my mind clear, uh, do what I can here and learn as much as I can. Um, from the older guys that have been here, that have been through it, um, and just play how I've been playing, and uh, hopefully the season comes around quick and uh, it gets started. Next question comes from Colin Stevenson. Colin, go ahead. Yeah, Andre. Uh, obviously, you, it's been written that you've made a, a quite the impression in, in July in, in that return to play camp. Uh, what was your mindset coming into this camp? Did you did you think that you would make the team? Did you think you had a chance? Did you think you had to do something special to make the team? What was your thought process coming in? Um, like I said, I mean, the biggest thing for me is just learning. Obviously, um, this next this next level, um, it's it's hard. There's every, everybody's good, so um, I think just learning from those older guys that have been through it. Um, and just picking up little things to work on and to look out for um, has been huge for me. Um, obviously, like I said, it's been um, a long off season, so watching a ton of film, um, hitting the weight room, um, and just trying to prepare myself for the season um, is kind of the mindset I've been in the last couple of months. Next question comes from Rick Carpinello with The Athletic. Carpy, go ahead. Thank you, Andre. Uh, just wondering a couple things. Hey, how much you were boosted by your performance or, or your play in the in the training camp over the summer? Uh, and B, how you've handled the pace and how you, how comfortable you felt with the pace of, of an NHL training camp uh, with these guys? Yeah, um, I think uh, I've never been so prepared for uh, a season. Um, training with Ben Prentice, he. Uh, really pushed me to be in the position that I am in today, um, conditioning-wise, weight-wise, um, strength-wise, all these different aspects um, to the game to prepare me for this next level. So um, I wouldn't say the pace is anything too crazy, but um, it's definitely um, different uh, coming from college, and um, everyone seems to be in the right spot on the ice. Um, guys have been clicking. Uh, guys are hungry to get out and uh, play somebody else. Um, other than ourselves, so, um, yeah. Next question comes from Dan Rosen with NHL.com. Dan, go ahead. Uh, yeah, Keandre, just to go back, um, two-parter here. Did, did you feel like you were in a better position coming into this training camp because you were in the bubble and you, you were able to go through that to give you an advantage, do you believe? And the second part is what impact will, do you think if it is the case that you guys open on opening night with take Jacob Trouba as your partner a veteran defenseman how will that help you and what has he done to help you um wait sorry can you repeat that first question yeah just did you think you came in with an advantage uh to this training yeah. camp because you were part of the return to play training camp yeah, um, obviously that camp uh, put me in a pretty good position. Um, just getting out there with the guys, seeing how um, their systems work and things like that. Um, it kind of just gave me that extra little boost of confidence um, that showed me that I was um, right on the verge of uh, something special, I guess you could say. Um, so I think I've just kind of put my head down, like I said, over the off season, um, doing whatever I can to prepare myself. Um, and obviously Trubes, um, we have only been playing or whatever for a day or so, but um, he's already kind of taken me under his wing um, and just been talking uh, D-Zone, any questions that I have. Um, he's always right there uh, next to me on the bench, so uh, he's a really reliable guy to go to for any questions, and um, his support has been uh, unreal. Next question comes from Molly Walker with the New York Post. Molly, go ahead. Hey, Keandre, um, you've been around the team for a bit now, obviously, dating back to the summer training camp. Where's your comfort level at and your confidence level, too? Uh, I would say at an all-time high. Um, I have a lot to prove, obviously. Um, still um, 
this first uh, couple of weeks. Uh, obviously, it's going to come quick um, with the game already Thursday. So um, I can't wait to, for the puck to drop and uh, actually get into a game situations. Okay, hey guys, you have time for about three more with Keandre. First, Mark Roseman from Sports Talk New York. Mark, go ahead. Hey, Keandre, first off, congratulations on what looks to be an opening night uh, slot on the roster. Um, I guess the question is, uh, every player has that moment where they feel, okay, yeah, I belong here in the NHL. Did that occur for you at any time during this camp? And, you know, secondly, what has been the major differences, the, the adjustments you've had to make from college to, to where you are now? Um, I wouldn't say there's that much of an adjustment, honestly. Um, just going back to kind of what I said is um, the biggest thing I've noticed from college to the pro level um, is w when you look up, uh, you always have an out. You always have support, uh, guys coming through, talking. Um, uh, the game is obviously definitely faster. Um, so quicker plays and uh, you always have to be head up and uh, looking for the that next option. So I don't think it's been too big of an adjustment um, for my college game, but um, yeah. Next question comes from Mike Mancuso. Mike, go ahead. Thank you, Andre. Uh, Two-parter, number one, just for fans who had not yet seen you play to any great extent, if you would provide a scouting report on what they could expect to see and, and how exciting is it to open up against the Islanders with a couple of games? Yeah, um, uh, I would consider myself um, as a kind of a shutdown defenseman with offensive abilities, um, closing quick in the D zone uh, uh, with a good stick. Um, I like to throw my body around a little bit, um, definitely in the D zone. So, um, like I said, try to use my offensive abilities when they come. Um, being smart and hard to play against in the D zone. And final question comes from Tom Merriam. Tom, go ahead. Yeah, Andrew, you mentioned earlier you talked to some of the veterans. What advice have they given you specifically about making your NHL debut later this week? Um, just sticking what I'm doing. Um, I've had a pretty good camp so far. Um, so uh, just getting more comfortable with the guys and trying to take in um, everything that they're going going over um, in film, uh, off ice, uh, just hanging out with the guys, getting more comfortable with them. Um, just like I said, taking it all in and uh, uh, trying to prepare myself for uh, Thursday.